Good morning, everyone. You may please be seated or kneel as you choose as we pray the rosary. Uh, today is the uh, feast of, um, yes, Our Lady of Lords. <laughs> Uh, it's when the Blessed Mother revealed herself as being the Immaculate Conception, and so I wanted to say it was the Immaculate Conception, but no, it's Our Lady of Lords. And today, um, in 1992, uh, St. John Paul II uh, uh, declared this particular day, this particular feast, as being a day in which we pray for the sick. And so um, we might want to consider uh, praying for the, the sick, especially as we pray this rosary today. So let's take a moment at the beginning of our celebration then to call to mind those in particular, those needs in particular that we may choose to pray for today. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. We pray that there will be an increase in faith, hope, and love among us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first luminous mystery is uh, the baptism at the Jordan. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of my mercy. The second luminous mystery, the manifestation of Jesus at the wedding feast in Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery, the uh, proclamation of the kingdom. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, souls to heaven, especially those most need in thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Eucharist. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now, and at the hour of Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As the world was beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you that we who meditate on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. If you have an intention for Mass, this would be the time to recall it. I might uh, ask you to remember that today Father Vincent is burying his brother in California, so we need to pray for Father Vincent and uh, for his mom and for his siblings as they bury their son and their brother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We call to mind our sins and prepare ourselves to enter into this sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals, but none provide, proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. The man and his wife were both naked, yet they felt no shame. The word of the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. 
Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it, but he could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this, you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. The Gospel of the Lord. It seems almost ironic, although I don't believe that we have a God of coincidence, it seems almost ironic that on this feast of the uh, Immaculate Conception, uh, uh, there I go again, (laughs) that on this particular feast, as well as the, uh, the day that we pray for the sick, that this particular gospel passage should be given to us. Jesus goes to the district of Tyre. Now, Tyre is an area that is north of the Sea of Galilee and a little bit to the west. It's uh, like on the, on the, right on the Mediterranean Sea. It is an area that at that time would have been considered Gentile, which is to say there were not believers who were there. So for Jesus as a Jew, as a practicing Jew to be in that area, was uh, rather unheard of in the first place. He would not have been welcomed into that particular area. He enters this house thinking that maybe he's going to be able to just put his feet up for just a little bit. But by this time, Jesus' reputation is really starting to develop, and so it's not possible for him to escape notice. And then there's this woman who has the uncle- the, whose daughter has the unclean spirit, and she hears about Jesus. Now, there's a whole lot of reasons why she should not have been there. In the first place, she is Syrophoenician. She is Greek. She is in in the area of Tyre, and she's a woman. Putting all of those things together, she should not have been present to Jesus. As a woman, especially as a, a woman that is unaccompanied, she should not have been talking to another man. As a person who is not a believer, she should not have been talking to Jesus. So there is all these, there are all these things that are going against why she would be there. Except, this is the important piece. She has faith that Jesus can do something. With all these things going against her, when being there to pray for her daughter and every parent has prayed for their child when they've been sick, of, on any level whatsoever, she comes to Jesus confident that he's going to be able to do something. Let the children be fed first, Jesus says, it's, for it's not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. Now that sounds a little harsh, don't you think? But again, at that time, 
Considering what Jesus has come, we heard earlier on in the gospel, Jesus says, let us go to the other villages for it and, and preach there because that is why I have come. Not to do all the healing, not to do all the miracles, although each of them do display the glory of God. Jesus says, that's not why I have come. This woman, however, don't you just love her tenacity? She, she has some real stick to itiveness. She replies to Jesus, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. The children, they didn't have napkins in those days. And so when you ate, you wiped your hands on bread and you threw it on the floor. And then the dogs came and ate it. So what she is saying is, even the crumbs, I'm not asking for anything more or even equal to what you would give to those you have called to, been called to serve. I'm asking for what's left over. I'm asking for the scraps. And Jesus says, faith. This lady has faith. For saying this, you may go. And at that moment, the demon was gone and the daughter was cured. I wonder sometimes if you and have that, you and I have that same kind of faith that this woman had, this Syrophoenician woman. I wonder sometimes if when we come to God in prayer, if we really expect God to do something or if we're just kind of saying, well, if you don't have anything better to do, if there isn't a bigger problem someplace in the world, if there isn't, well, you know, just look at me. Lord, I, I am a lowly sinner. I have no business even asking, but I'm, I'm going to ask anyway. And if you get around to it, if you get around to it, this would be a nice prayer for you, for you to answer. We don't think of it in the, our prayer in those kind of terms, but I wonder sometimes if that isn't our mental construct. We come to God with faith and we ask for our particular need, but it's with qualification. This woman has no qualification. She is there to get something done for her daughter. And maybe that's the intent that you and I need to have in our prayer is to have the intent that God not only listens, but God hears and God chooses to respond to our prayer. Not always the way that we would like, but he chooses always to respond to our prayer. So on this feast day that we have for the sick, think about those that you know that are in particular need today. And if you don't know of anybody in particular, then how about just praying for all those who are currently dealing with all the trials and tribulations of the COVID-19 virus, especially for those who are hospitalized and those who are in danger of death, that the Lord in his mercy will be attentive to their need and to need that, the need that we all have, that there is going to be a speedy end to and a successful end to this virus for us and for our world. We are confident indeed of, of our God's love for us, and so we stand and pray. We pray today for all of those who are ill, whether of body, mind, or of spirit, for the healing grace of God to come to each of them, to heal them, to return them to family and friends, and to the altar of thanksgiving and praise. We pray to the Lord. We pray for leaders of government, especially our own government, as they take on the task of leading our country, that they may be inspired by the wisdom of God and they may respond to the promptings of the Spirit. We pray to the Lord. We pray for one another, that we may have the courage of faith that this woman in our gospel reading had for today and be able to come confidently before our Lord with whatever our needs may happen to be. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our beloved dead, especially Father Vincent's brother, and for all those who have gone before us to the other side of life, that God in his mercy will welcome them into the fullness of his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord and for the needs that each of us bring to the altar of God today. We pray to the Lord. Lord 
God of mercy and compassion, hear the prayers of those who are gathered before you this day, and grant what we pray, for we ask it in faith through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Samuel, our Archbishop, Jorge, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Renewed with his heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. <laughs>